Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today we're checking out a handheld thermal imaging camera, a completely self-contained gun that you can put in your toolbox, and it's by HSF Tools. Now this one is the HF96V, and it's made in Vietnam. Very well made, high quality tool. So let's go ahead and check it out. The main unit is rubberized on the outside. So it has like a little bit of rubber texture, feels really good. And it has these three lenses here in the front. This is the laser lens, this is actual regular camera, and this is the thermal imaging. So you're able to blend these two together and have a laser to point when you take a picture. Here at the top, is the USB-C port. Now this is for charging, but also transferring the pictures to a, uh, like a computer. Down here is a quarter 20 screw hole, so that way you can mount it on a tripod or something like that. Um, or you can, you know, like attach anything there really. I mean, a quarter 20 is for like camera equipment and stuff like that. So it's very versatile. How it works is the power button is here. You just press and hold it to turn it on. And it starts up. And it takes a second. And I have my coffee cup here so you can see it. And uh, so basically, you have instant image. And then you have some information here. Uh, it has the time. There's the battery level. Here at the bottom is the emissivity settings. This could help out with, you know, reminding you to set it depending on what you're looking at. And then you have the center temperature, maximum temperature, and minimum temperature. And I, you can set it in uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius. And then you have this little uh, bar right there showing you the temperature range. And it'll calibrate every once in a while. So you can see it, you know, kind of like freeze for a second, recalibrate, and then continue. So when you press this button here, without long pressing it, long pressing it will turn it off but press it briefly, we'll go into the settings. And then you can scroll down and adjust the different settings here. Go all the way to the bottom so you can see what's going on. All right, the first one is albums. So we can see the images that we took, select it by pressing that button, select that, al that album there, select the image, and we have an image there that we took. We'll go back out back, back, we can adjust the emissivity, go back out, distance, go back out of that. Now the, the distance is for the parallax. I'll show you that in a second because this does have a regular camera in the front and to line those up uh, you will need to adjust this distance. Display settings, we can select that. Hot, cold, center, parameters, Unit is we're going to change the Celsius if we want time and date, adjust that. So if we don't want the hot and cold and the center or the center, whichever, we can toggle those on or off. Going back out, uh, we have image settings. We can go in here. We have image mode, parallax co correction, and color dis distribution. Let's go to image mode. We have thermal, we have fusion, and then we have visual. So visual will, will just look like a regular camera. So let's select that. Go back, back, back. Now we just has it just looks like a regular camera. So there's no thermal Im imaging going on here. All right, Fusion will have both the image and the thermal image overlaying each other. So let's go back out of that. All right, so now uh, we have the parallax looks halfway decent right now uh, because basically um, it has the the details of the image, the regular camera and the thermal imaging together. So you get a little bit of better context. Uh, sometimes when you were to, you know, look at a thermal imaging, depending on the context, you know, depending on what you're looking at, sometimes it's kind of hard to make out what you're actually looking at. So having that overlap, uh, overlap, that fusion of both images together can be useful when you take a picture. And taking a picture, you just pull on the trigger here and hold it. There'll be a laser light that pops out. And once you aim it the way you want, you let go, and that's where it takes the picture. All right, let's 
So now we can go back into the menu. We go to the image settings. And let's say the overlap of those two images weren't correct. We can go to the parallax correction and choose the distance between us, the, 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 the device, and whatever you're taking the temperature on. All right, let's go back out here and let's go down to palettes. The palettes are different the way the image looks. So we have white hot, which is fairly typical. Uh, so let's go back out. So now everything that's white will be hot, basically. Uh, and so this is very common view on thermal imaging systems. Let's go back, let's go into there. And let's go back to palettes. And let's go to, we, before we're on Iron Bow, uh, let's go to Red Hot. Uh, that's another one that's pretty good. Let's go back out. So everything that's hot is red, which is fairly intuitive. So yeah, you can choose the view that you want. And it looks pretty good. There's an alarm, like if you wanted to have it, if there's a certain temperature, threshold that you wanted to send an alarm to you, uh, you can have that. And then you can have the temperature range here. You can choose what temperature range which is appropriate for you. You can also have it auto switch if necessary. Capture mode. Uh, you can have capture one image, scheduled capture, or save visual image. So you can have it save the um, visual image with the regular thermal images. So yeah, that's kind of a, a rundown of the basic features here and how you use it. It's fairly simple. Uh, the battery lasts a long time. You just charge it up here at the top and uh, taking pictures, you just simply pull on the trigger and it takes the picture when you release it. Having a handheld self-contained thermal imaging camera with its own screen and everything is very handy to have in the toolbox because you can pull it out press the button start it up and you're instantly um, you know doing the diagnostic seeing what you need to see uh, some of the ones that attach to the cell phone can be handy but you have to take your cell phone out you have to start the app you have to have the app uh, the 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 little gun here is able to be completely self-contained you pull it out of the the toolbox and you're ready to go some of the things you can check, so like say a technician will have a little bit different perspective, but just like the average person could check for things like uneven tire heat. So after a long drive or a, you know, if you're driving on a highway at high speeds and then you stop and you check your tires. So if you have the inner or the outer tires a little bit hotter uh, than the rest of the tire, then it might be wearing unevenly. You can do the same thing with uh, brake rotors, so that you can, if you can uh, see past the wheel, some vehicles have, you know, the wheel enclosed, but if you can actually see the brake rotors and the brake calipers, you can get a, a somewhat of a idea of whether one is hotter than the other, or if there's a spots on the brake rotors that are hotter, the, like the outer portion or the inner portion, that could be a sign of uneven wear. This is only after you've, you know, completed a drive and braked. Uh, and also, you can also locate leaks. So let's say there is a some kind of leak going on uh, under the vehicle or, or whatever. You can look around with the imaging gun and see if there's any spots where uh, either, you know, some kind of hot liquid is coming out or something like that. You can actually see precisely where uh, that, that uh, hot liquid is dripping out now it's from the air conditioning then it's going to be like cold liquid right but uh, then you're going to get an idea that it's not a problem also the fuse box so let's say you you just aim the gun at the fuse box and then you can see if there's any particular fuses uh, that are getting hotter than others especially if you have a problem you know and you're trying to locate and diagnose a problem with the electrical thing you could look at the 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 harness uh, the fuse box uh, stuff like that you can also kind of check out heated seats, see if any elements have, have stopped working, if it's uneven, if it's not symmetrical design. Heated steering wheel. Uh, you can also check out the climate control, uh, see if there's any vents working, not working, or something like that, if, especially if, you're, if you feel like it's uneven in the vehicle. 
So yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can do with the thermal imaging. Of course, the technician's going to have even more of a range, so they can lift up the vehicle, they could check uh, for exhaust issues, and uh, you know, and also uneven cylinder temperatures. So like say, this is this is even more appropriate for like vehicles with exposed exhaust headers, that kind of thing. Because you can look at, if you have like a valve issue or something going on, uh, you can briefly look at uh, the exhaust headers, basically, and whichever one is the coolest will be like the, 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 the lowest temperature, basically, will be the one that's going to having problems. You know, they should be all about the same temperature coming out directly from the cylinder head. But if you have one that's a little bit cooler than the rest, then that's where your, your valve problem is. Uh, and, you know, in the past, a long time ago, the old school way of doing this was to take a little piece of wax and put it on each, cil each uh, uh, cylinder exhaust port, and then whichever one melted the last would be the coolest one. When you first start the vehicle up, it'll get warm, and then the one that melts the last is the coolest, right? Uh, so that's the that's the cool old school way, and then of course they had the thermal imaging guns, just like without a not an imaging, just a thermal gun that gives you a temperature, and then we we're able to use that. But as far as now, you could just like look at it. Ten seconds later, you pretty much have your answer. So, and you have a uh, and you can check on other things with it as well. So it's it's really handy uh, tool to have in your toolbox for sure.